he's swimming up current. I don't know. Oh, <gasps> hogfish. All right, uh, good. Ah. Oh. No. Yeah. No. All right, listen up. We gotta be real quiet because we're sneaking. We're scurrying and we're sneaking through the mangroves like a raccoon. Got my boat right there. And the reason I'm sneaking is because I don't have any live bait. You can't catch a fish without live bait, at least not around these parts. Come on, man, there's gotta be some live bait around my dock. Oh, guys. Okay, I just found the mother load the mother of all pearls of live bait, right behind my boat engine. Come check them out. You all see that? Pilchards, hundreds of pilchards, just hanging out under my boat. Idiots! Don't they know who lives here? <laughs> all right, guys, the game plan today. You are gonna love this one. Captain Dan from the Florida Fishing Couple. He's coming over. We're gonna go on my boat and we're gonna do some patch reef fishing, the most requested video on the channel. So I'm gonna get the boat ready, put some ice on it, get some chum. I'm gonna go to the bait store, the yellow bait house. I'm gonna get some live shrimp. I'm gonna try to catch some live pilchards uh, with a net right off the back of the boat here in a second. Get the boat loaded down, wait for Dan, and we going fishing. Let's go. Look who it is. The 2024. 2024 patch free video. What do you got over there? A gas station taquito. Oh, nice. All right, you ready? Let's go do this thing, man. I'm ready. All right. Look what I got. What do you got? Oh, nice. You know, I was I was picking up shrimp and I saw it for sale. And I was like, why not? Okay. That's freaking beautiful. I'm going to try to always have some live bait ready to go. And but I like the fact that it's oval like that so they can run around in there. Yeah. All right, that looks really, really, really good. You want to see the shrimp I got? Compared to other times, I'd say they're pretty juicy. Okay. Yeah. Nice. I mean, they're they're all right. All right, let's go do this. I'm gonna load the. I'm gonna load that. Yep. I'm gonna uh, load the boat, ice, and there's pilchards. So I gotta try to throw a net on them. We're gonna keep it easy today. I'm only gonna bring two fishing poles. My super light action PC fun. Carbon X 500. This is the light, mega light action, eight pound braid, 10 pound fluoro. I'm bringing one super light action rod. Oh yeah, you like them shrimp? Oh, I, I remember those. I figured we could use them to year. chum maybe, like chum with yeah. shrimp. And the live ones get the hook. She's running beautifully. You should expect no malfunctions today. A marvelous experience, is that what you're saying? No it's, it's going to be one of the most marvelous the experience. most marvelous it's the most marvelous experience marvelous look at that there she goes already she's acting great oh wait i'm i'm not that smart i should probably cast net for pilchards first oh you're saying they're right here Just yeah they're right, right here there they were a second ago nice big fat ones Shit. oh where did they go there's still some right there all right there I'm gonna throw the net on them before we head out. Maybe we'll get some, maybe we won't. All right, here we go. I don't even know if you're gonna open, but. <laughs> First throw of the year. Ah. All right. Uh, you know. Uh. Hey, you're a little rusty. 2024. It's been a while since I've thrown a net. Did you get any? It looks like it. Hey, you got some in here, I see them. Nice. Bingo. All right, we actually got some. You got some. Woo! Yeah, right. All right, we are untied. All right, untied. Untied. Untie me now. Untied. All right. We got ourselves probably about a dozen pilchards, maybe even more, and a bunch of live shrimp. I think we're good to go. We're gonna, go. We're gonna catch fish. Turn on the live well. We are, yeah, 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 you gotta do that. We are gonna catch. There's another one of those ugly-looking things. Let me get that out of there. Oh yeah, there's a jellyfish in there. We're the professional fishermen that have jellyfish in our live well. No one's got anything on us, Dan. Oh, this wind is pushing us hard. You know what? We're gonna need another bounce off of the dock. Oh, nice. That thing worked out nice. <sighs> Damn. <laughs> All right, away we go. Away we go. 
Ah, uh, this is my favorite part. Oh yeah. No we, other boats. We ready for takeoff? Yep. No other boats. I love that. Okay. That's my favorite. Hang on to your horses. Everybody went back to Miami. All right, there's a nice patch over there. Zero patch, zero patch everywhere. There's a good old patch. We're gonna throw the anchor. Hi. Right, anchor's away. Anchor's away. Down. Sitting on a patch. It's looking good. It's looking good. I feel good. I'm excited. I'll even turn the engine off with confidence. Ooh. Boom. You using a little shrimp there, Dan? I'm gonna try a little shrimp. A little yeah, shrimp. A little innocent shrimp. <laughs> oh! Looks like we're swinging around. That's a good sign. So we should be able to cast right onto that patch reef. It's like, what, 30 feet behind the boat? I could let out more line too. Yeah, if we have to, right? That's yeah. Right. yeah, yeah. But I don't want to be right on top of it. Nope. Because then we'll just get stuck. Rocks. Yeah. Right. I want, as soon as we hook up, we can pull the fish off the reef. <laughs> Look at the water just coming on the deck. Ah, you gotta love it. Is anybody out there? And I'm gonna be using the two PC Fun Reels, the Carbon X 500 and the Carbon X 4000. The lightweight, heavyweight, or more like medium weight. <laughs> the 5000 Terminator series. And then we're gonna be using weighted hooks. So these are the weighted lip candy jigs and then a little smaller one on the light action rod. Boom, that's it. Easy fishing today. You know, we've been trying too hard. We just need to cast the shrimp out and relax. Let it happen. Yeah, let it happen. Like number one. You already got, you're it. getting bit. I don't know where it is. This little fish just got stuck in the live well. Oh, you lost your bait already. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> Okay yeah, then. Please. All right. Not a bite. I want a shrimp. Holy There's macaroni. I'm gonna use the monster shrimp. I'm gonna start big. That's a jumbo. The question is, should we start chumming? Yep, that's a good, that's, I, I might be dicing up these dead shrimp and chumming with that. I feel like that's premium chum. I can't get near those rocks yet. That cast was kind of near the rocks. I could let out like another 20 feet of anchor line. Oh no, there's a shrimp trying to get into the hole. Oh look, that yeah, shrimp is it. pleasing himself. <laughs> look at him. He's way. like jammed his little shrimp butt into the hole. That shrimp is up to no good activities. Shrimptivities. I feel like we should have been chomped. Yeah, and he's gonna run like a wild man. All right, I'll start chopping up some shrimp. Hmm, these shrimp are floating. That is kind of annoying. That's not gonna work. I, I'm getting nibbled. All right, let's get the first fish on board. Yes! Oh, that's a good oh, fish. First fish on board. I mean, first fish hit. That's a good fish. Oh, that's a really good fish. <laughs> that didn't take long. Didn't take long at all. I like the old patches. Oh, you might need to grab yeah. that net up there. I got you. I got you. Ooh, we got a fish and a tangle. Well, Double trouble. Maybe not. We're oh, you got a fish? Yeah, we're both on. <laughs> it's a mutton, Dan. It's oh, a keeper. It's a mutton. <laughs> <laughs> mutton. Oh wait, no. Yeah, it is. Wait, what is that? that? Is it's or is that a bottom. grouper? It could be a grouper. Yeah, it's a grouper. Get that big old mouth. I wonder what you got on yours. You might have something juicy. Oh, you got a mutton snapper. A mutton. Woo. Nice. I got a red grouper. You got a grouper. We got a look what's in his mouth! Oh, look at that! He's got, is that a grunt? Yeah, yeah there's a grunt. a grunt. That's the oddest looking red. I mean, he's he's a red, but he looks dark. Oh, yeah, he's he kind of looks like a black grouper yeah, almost. almost. For a second, I thought he was. I thought I saw his fins. Unless, no, no, no he's no. he's a red. Oh, got the hook out! Wow. On the lip candy jig. They never fail, baby. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. All right, I'm gonna let him go. 
do not tell everybody what's going on, buddy. <laughs> buddy. Yeah. Oh, he went straight down. All right, so we just got a grouper and a mutton. Yeah. That means they're around town. Yeah. <laughs> wow, look what came out of that grouper's that mouth. Did he do that or was something? Who did that? Yeah, that looks like a barracuda cut or yeah. something. Or well, like, even a person. Yeah, right. Like, just threw it over. Like, it's crazy. Whole grunt out of the or the grouper spit it up when we pulled him up. So that's interesting. Get some beautiful colors on this guy. Very pretty, pretty fish. That mutton. I'm gonna have to retie this guy. I think. <laughs> Take it easy, buddy. I'm gonna let you go. You just let me let you go. That's a grunt-sized mutton. Oh, there he goes. All right, and I'm tossing another live shrimp out. Hopefully that mutton doesn't eat this shrimp. Where's the big ones? We want the big ones. Yeah, we want the fat ones. We want the 30 incher. I think if if I'm gonna be like, oh, I think I got a shark, that's when we know we got a big mutton on. Uh huh. When or, you or a shark. Yeah, or if a it shark. Is a shark, we should probably leave. No, we jump in with our scuba gear and harpoons if there's sharks, oh, okay. and then we battle them. Battle the sharks. Oh, I'm getting thumped. Come on. I just want a big thump though. I don't want little thumps. Yep. Oh, oh, dance on, dance on. Where's my fish? On my right, on my right. Oh, yes. Oh, yellowtail. Wow, we have a whole, yeah, a whole assortment of fish. How do you even, we're not even chumming. We haven't even started chumming. Yeah, if we start chumming, it might get a little crazy. That is a very pretty yellowtail. <laughs> All right, going back. To All right. The Sometimes I wonder if I can catch a fish just on the jig, just by tweaking it around. I've done it before, like yellow jacks will hit it and stuff. But why do that when you got shrimp? You're on again, damn Dan! Dan's rod's always bending over in front of him. I have to work for that. Oh, that is a. Oh, and he got bit by something. That's good sashimi right there. Uh, yeah, he's a little small. We're gonna work our way up till we get a really big fish. Yeah, good is right. Yellow Jack. That right there is some premium grade sashimi, but he's a little small, so he's lucky. Oh, look, there's fish chasing my jig. Oh, shit. There you go. Just what you were talking about. I don't know what those are. They're some kind of little bait fish. Dan is on again. Dan, we want to see some big fish. What you got down there? Is that a grunt? Oh, the uh, bl blue, runner. blue runner. Huh. If we had a big like shark rod, we could. Oh yeah, just throw them out there. Yeah. Next time I'm going to bring a big rod set up with a big circle hook. And then we when we catch, always do that. chuck one out. Yeah, even if it's like a shark or something, it would just be good, good yeah. fun. I'm pretty sure I just got robbed. I got a thump, 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 and then it was gone. Damn. Oh, I just got grabbed. Bingo, bingo. I got grabbed on a on a naked jig. Oh, it's these uh, leatherback thingies. They bite. They can poke you pretty good. Oh, hey, that's kind of a juicy yellowtail. Yeah, that's a good yellowtail. Ow! This guy's got a lot of spikes on him. We're both fighting for our lives over here, me and the fish. Ah! He stung me again. You got a quick release back there. <laughs> my, my release isn't that quick. He's stung me like four times. I think these things are poisonous. No, no, if I start convulsing, it just, just push me out to sea. I've had it. <laughs> oh, he got off. Whew. Oh yeah, the turtle's out there. I'm switching to my lighter action rod now. Only 10 pound test on here. So if I catch something, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a battle. <laughs> Oh, Dan! Nope, 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 oh, nope. he got away. Nothing's gonna get away from me now. Bingo. Oh, that was a good hook set. Holy Ooh. smokes! Ooh. Ooh. Oh, oh, another Ooh. yellowtail. Did you see that? Did, something him. swiped him. Yep, something swiped him. Another yellowtail. Hey! All right. Yeah. You're killing it. Dan's hooking up every single cast Ooh. over there. Going under the boat. Get over here. Show me the magic. Oh, he's swimming in circles. Oh, it's a little mutton, mutton again. It's a baby mutton. We got, we're in the nursery. We're in the mutton snapper yeah. nursery. Here we go. Nice. Good work. They're awfully suspicious of my shrimp. I think that grouper went and told everyone not to eat my bait. Yeah, it looks that way. 
None of your fish have snitched on you yet. <laughs> oh, here we go. Come on, come on, come on. Eat it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why are they nibbling? Yes. Oh. Oh, that is good. <laughs> Super light action makes this so fun. Wow. Yeah, yeah, he's coming. What do we got here? And looks like a mutton snapper. Right. Woo! We Little mutton snapper. So they're about what, 10, 12, 12, 14? Yeah, there's gotta be some bigger ones around here. They gotta be around. Oh! All right, uh, good. Ah! Oh! Damn, he got me good. I was gonna say good release, but uh. You're getting them, but they're getting you back. Damn. Look at that little hole he just put oh, in my finger. Give you a little puncture one. Mm hmm. <sighs> fish one, me zero. It's, there's a fish coming home with us today. Oh, they got it. He just hasn't been caught yet. Yeah, he's out there. Dan says he's got the big, biggest one of the day. I don't know, but I don't think he's bigger than your group. Okay, all right. Yeah, he might be a keeper. If he's a yellowtail, he's, he's a keeper. A all right. Do we need a net for this guy? Uh, no. Oh, it's, it's a little bigger. Bigger mutton. It's a little bigger. Nice Woo! Nice hook set. Right in the corner. He might be almost keeper. Uh, he's the the measurings on the um on the cooler. Yeah, he's he's, he's probably fat. like 17, 17 and a half. I'm gonna let him go. All right, let him go. We want to keep the ones that have no question. Look at that, though. He's pretty. Ooh! Nice, pretty Dan. Good. That's a beauty. All right, buddy. Come on. See ya. Woo! All right, off you go. Whoop. Nice that release. That was a mistake. I tried to get him gentle on it because we're... Because we're, <laughs> we're gentle sportsmen. We're trying. Peanut butter jelly time! Oh. Uh, my finger accidentally caught the line. Did I cross over yeah, your line? You know, I was trying to be all dramatic casting my line and... And that turned into real it was, drama. It was dramatic. <laughs> it worked. Now our lines are crossing. This is great. All you right. know. It makes it even more challenging. Oh, oh wait. I never. It didn't. Your bait. <laughs> <laughs> that was my shrimp that went flying. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Terrible cast. I even prepped that shrimp so nicely. Oh, my. Dan is on again. God. I need to get my bait out there. Oh. Oh. Oh, did he go in the engine? No. Did you get bit? Did he? No. What happened? No. Oh, oh, I see. It is. Okay, you're you're good. He just ran over here. What the heck is that? What the hell is that? Something ate your fish. Maybe that's a cobia. Is that a cobia? No. That's a barracuda. That's a barracuda. Damn it. He just ate your fish. Yeah, that's great. Just oh, great. Dan, your favorite. Not only that, yeah, of course. He broke off. Oh, I, that was a big barracuda. Damn. That was the keeper fish that he just ate. Hopefully he's full now and he... Go away, Barry. Leave us alone. Oh, I just got a good thump. Oh, no. Oh, it's Barry. Barry's up. That was a good, oh, it grabbed it and I cut my line instantly. Oh, man. That cut Where'd my line perfectly. I got to put a new hook on here. New hook. Who dis? Chucking them out. If we catch a nice fish, we got to reel in quick. Yeah. Or hopefully we catch such a big mutton that the barracudas won't even try to bite it. Oh, I'm getting bit. Dan's on. I'm on! Yes! Yeah, doubled up, doubled up, doubled up, doubled up. <laughs> Turn the GoPros on. <laughs> Mine's not that big either. You got a small mutton? Ooh, I got a mangrove snapper. And I got my bait back. Nice fish you got there, Dan. Oh, the snapper won't open his mouth for me. Ow, all of his spikes going right into my hand. Open your mouth, buddy. Open sesame, all right. Damn, Dan, I haven't even got my fish back in the water and you're already catching a fish. Oh, did I just lose it? No. I'm gonna let this snapper keep his shrimp as his yeah, free snack for you, buddy. Whoa, big came oh, I saw the big, big barracuda. Dude, you are lucky. Barry came out of nowhere. Damn, if we had a stinger rig, we could chuck him out on it and catch that barracuda. You are a you better swim for your life. Yeah, that's a lucky blue runner. Swim and swim. He almost lost his tail end. 
I just caught a fish on a on no no bait. Nothing. Nothing. I just was twitching my jig around. The blue runners, man. Wow. Ah. Wow. Watch this. I'm gonna throw, I'm gonna throw just the weighted yellow tail hook out and I'm just gonna twitch it around. <laughs> I'm gonna catch a fish. Yeah. All right, watch. No bait. Oh yeah. Ooh, it looks good though. Oh, you got a mangrove snapper. All right, all right. Hey, he's not too bad either. He's an all right sizer. If you were a hungry man, if if they didn't sell fish sandwiches at McDonald's, that's correct. I'm a little disappointed that they're not eating my baitless hook right now. The second I start videotaping, they don't want to bite it. They're cha- oh! They are chasing it. Yeah, they're right here. They're trying to eat it, but you know what? I'm going to stop wasting my time with this. I need to catch a fish. An edible fish. Is that a fat daddy? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. This is a good fish. Okay. Dan's got a good fish on. It looks like a good He's fish. He's taking a little line, so. And I will conveniently throw my bait out right on top of yours. Oh, another mutton. A little bit bigger, though. They're getting bigger. That's a good sign. Okay, and now this one was caught on a piece of dead shrimp. On a dead shrimp. Dead old shrimp. Look, right? you don't even need live These guys shrimp are just out here. Starving, man. That's gotta be the hot spot, like right, that little area right there. I'm the hot spot. You're the hot spot. <laughs> look, look, I got him again. I'm cold as ice over here. They're not even <laughs> going after mine. It might be that mono line you got on there. I have a little, oh my, they just, this little fish just grabbed it right at the boat. Yep. What do they call those again? They're called like leather jackets, leatherback. leatherbacks. Leather jackets? Yeah, leatherbacks. Yeah. Leatherbacks. yeah, and you don't want to grab them because they're really spiky. That's a good fish, I think. I mean, he's got some kind of spunk on him. He's a spunky, funky monkey. What do we have here? What the heck? What is that? Uh, what, uh, is that a Wait, what? It looks like a yellowtail that made it with a mutton snapper. <laughs> what? Lane? Could be a lane snapper. Yeah, I gotta look that up. I think it is a lane. But don't lane snappers have the black dot on the back? Or maybe oh. not? Look, his tail looks just like a mutton snapper. Yeah, it sure does. And a yellow tail. Hmm. The question is, do I keep him or do I let him go? Oh! Well. Oh, he made the decision before he, you. Yeah, he, he sure did make the decision. Damn, I had meat in my hands. Now, no meat in my hands. I think you have a... I got a problem. I think you got a grouper or something, yeah. Dan. Yeah. Dan says, I got a problem. You got to pull them out of there somehow. Of the yeah, why is there a rock? Hey, maybe you'll pull up the famous Dan's rockfish. Oh, he's coming. He's coming. It's happening. Yeah. What do you got there? It looks juicy. Oh. It's a hog. Hogfish. It's a, it's a hog. Wow. Yo, Mr. Hogfish. First one of the day. That's a good looking hogfish. Damn, oh, nice. Dude. Yeah, that is a hoggy Look that, hoggy. Huh? Look at this little thing out there. Got a little snoot. That's a good looking snoot, too. Nice. He's a pretty, pretty fish. Ha! All right, so we're going to give him a good release and off he goes. Nice. Man, he just hit that thing. Woo wee! All right, my GoPro ran out of batteries and I forgot to bring more batteries, but uh, I'm going to be chucking out a whole squid this time. And we'll see it. The fish don't eat it, I will. Yeah, so it'll be hard to videotape now, but if we get a good bite, I'll turn on this GoPro. Hold it up, Dan. Yeah, it's pretty. It's cute. Got a little salad. Dan got his rockfish. It's not a fishing trip until you got one. Yeah, you're pulling its gills out. Ah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Come on, damn it. <laughs> Man, it's not coming uh, out. We can't show this on video, it's too brutal. <laughs> What do we got here? Oh, a little, oh, a little, oh, there we go. Mangrove snapper over there. All right. Find out where the beasts are. Yeah, where's the big ones? Those taste good coming from the ocean. Yeah. Nice. Yep. Ah, Snap. Cool. We've been catching a lot of fish, but we're gonna move spots. We're gonna try to find a spot with bigger fish. This spot had a lot of fish, but they weren't trophy fish. We gotta put something in the cooler. 
We showed up with the trophies, as the trophies. We got ourselves a big old hound. Dan just got hooked up majorly on a live ballyhoo. Ho ho ho! That could the that could be the mutton, Dan. He's, going for the Ooh, he's taking line. That sounds like my camera just shit the bed again. Yeah, sure. Fucking GoPro, you piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> the best fish of the day. And GoPro just fucking died. I'm done with GoPro. GoPro sucks. <laughs> We're having okay. some camera issues today. GoPro. We both are sucking a little bit. GoPro eats dog poop. <laughs> GoPro eats dog poop. Dan, you heard it? This is unbelievable. Unbelievable. I just, I mean, too bad. I, I All right, Dan, I got that net ready because that's going to be a mutton. A I am. We're going to need a net. We'll see. Whatever it is, we're going to need a net. Oh, you're back. Oh. oh what the hell are you doing? Your GoPro is just Dan's big mutton. Hey, what are you, 15 feet of water? That's got to be a mutton. I still don't see him. It's not a mutton. It's, it's yeah, shiny. it's not. I don't like that shininess. No, I don't either. Much too shiny. Shark? Should I don't know. Uh, could be a... No, no, that is a mutton. Oh, yeah. Damn, that's a mutton. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> that's a big mutton. All right, get ready. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. No. <laughs> Yeah! No! <laughs> fit in the net! Oh! Oh! Oh, God! Yeah. <laughs> it won't fit in the net! Holy moly! There he is! Martin! He makes... That's a mutton! Oh, baby, that's a mutton! Oh! Ah, I gotta hold here. <laughs> yeah, wow! Look at that, on the, on the live ballyhoo. Live value, baby. That's the way to go. Oh, um, <laughs> that's what we're talking. That's what we came out here for today, man. It sure is. All right. Well, no doubt about those two fillets. Holy smokes! Dang. Love it. He's a slob. He is a slobetta. Well, I think we should keep this one instead of throwing back. Yeah. Oh yeah. Hold him out. Oh, baby. He's a good one. Yeah! Yeah. Ballyhoo on the patch reefs. Even without cameras today, we're still managing to get some content, so that's pretty good. Content somehow. I have to do it with my damn phone. <laughs> oh, you're pulling out the phone. That's that's when you know we're desperate. GoPro. <laughs> I am so mad at GoPro. Yeah, look at that. That is a nice fish. <laughs> <laughs> Dan's got a big fish on. We don't know if it's. Uh, I'm, I'm hoping he's hooked. Oh, you got a grouper. We got a grouper. A baby grouper. Look at that. A whole valley hoop. You got some nerve, baby grouper. He went right for it. There he is. Nice. All right. And look at look, I just barely, just barely have him hooked. Man, why is that? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That ballyhoo is doing some acrobatic wow. moves. Right. Right. Red grouper. We're about to call it a day and something picked up Dan's bait. Look at this sunset we got going. It's just absolutely gorgeous. It's a gorgeous day out of here. <whistles> don't get much prettier than that, but I think we're going to call a day, head back, clean the mutton, and then it's catch and cook time. I got a new battery in my GoPro. Clean the beast! 
Oh yeah, that's right. We're gonna open up his stomach and see. And they got serious teeth too, man. Yeah. They can just suck that ballyhoo down and gone. You don't want to put anything soft and long in that mouth. <laughs> when I needed it, when I was pulling him in, he was. Sounds like classic, classic case of. The camera. <laughs> uncooperation. Beep, beep, beep. That was a battle. That was rewarding. Yes. I can't cut through those super thick ribs. I'm gonna have to cut up and over them. Mm -hmm. That's when you know you got a nice big fish when you can't cut through the ribs. You know your snapper is too small and you just go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there's All right. one fillet. Ba bam we'll take the other fillet off and then we're gonna look in the belly yeah we gotta check the belly out. that we go. could be his tinder profile picture All right, there's one fillet. One fillet. Fillet, and there you go, the skin. This would actually be like a cool wallet. I just don't know if you can preserve fish skin like that. I don't know. There's got to be a way. I don't know. Maybe not. I brought a whole bunch of paper towels. It is good to keep them with paper towels yep. in the bag. Keeps that moisture to a manageable level or whatever it is, does. All right, two bags of snapper fillets. What is in that belly? Actually, you could you could eat that. Oh my God, yeah, it's hard to cut through this. You know, it looks kind of empty in there. Hmm. He's got an empty belly. Damn, that wasn't very exciting. Was it's cool. empty. It's completely, oh, wait, actually, there might be something small in it. There's his stomach. Oh, he, sure. had, he had an empty stomach. That guy was starving. Huh, so maybe he wasn't the first one that bit I the thing not. off. Well, that's that. Next thing you know, we'll be cooking that bad boy. That's right. Today in the kitchen, we're going to make mutton snapper spaghetti. And uh, step one is I have a beautiful chunk. I might have gone a little overboard, but I got a healthy dose of garlic, whole garlic. And we are going to start off just by simmering that, uh, get the garlic a little soft and cooked. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna pour spaghetti sauce. This is tomato, basil, Pretty good, I checked the ingredients. They're all like very whole ingredients. Um, seems like a pretty good sauce. I don't know if I've ever had it, but I'm gonna put two of them. Once the garlic is done cooking, I'll add the sauce and we'll add the mutton snapper and we're just gonna get a little saucy and then pour it over some noodles. For noodles, I just have Roa's homemade noodles. They look pretty good. They were the most expensive noodles at the store, but uh, they look great. Yeah, let's get to cooking. Look at this slob of a mutton snapper. Now I'm gonna cut this up to be a little more manageable and I'm gonna cut the bloodline out, which is just this line right here, cut that out. So that is a nice piece. I'll actually cut that in two pieces. So we're just gonna make these little manageable chunk sized pieces. We also have a couple little ribs here we'll cut out, work down the bloodline. Oh, there's some more ribs. Oh, there's a rib. Okay, cut that off. Oh, and look who we got here. We got Captain Elliot, the pussycat. Oh, you can't see him. He's not on screen yet. Hey, buddy. You want a piece? You want a piece? Come take it. There. Oh, yeah. Just take it, bud. I'll give you more later, but let me finish this. And uh, so the rest of this mutton snapper, I'll just cut into one. We'll cut it into four pieces just like that, and just like that. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got our pile of mutton snapper looking fabulous. You know what? I'm gonna cut a piece off for Elliot. Okay, he can have that. I'm gonna just kind of cut some of these bloodline pieces off because Elliot, you know, Elliot's a cat. He loves a little bit of blood in his, uh, in his fish. And before we throw the mutton snapper into our pan of garlic, which is pretty much nice and roasted in there, I'll add a little bit of salt. There we go. And now we will add the mutton snapper Woo! into our pan. Mm. Time to add the sauce. It's time to get saucy. Boom! I was a little worried I wouldn't be able to open it and look like a wiener on right on video. Ooh, that's hot! Oh, babe. All right, and we're gonna put a second one in there. Woo! Now that is some serious saucy sauce. Oh, and we have our water boiling. So we're gonna toss in our noodles, which are gonna take, uh, what does it say on here? Seven to 10 minutes. All right. Let's drop those in there. And then of course, add a pinch of salt. A wooden pasta spoon. Hold on, buddy, I'll give you your fish, all right? Just chill out. Elliot over here is like looking at me, begging me, giving me them little kitty eyes. I was gonna say pussy eyes, but that sounds wrong, but like, pup, you say puppy eyes to a dog? but saying pussy eyes to a cat just doesn't sound right. Whoa, that water is boiling. Okay, we don't need it to boil that crazy. And now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna let this simmer until the fish is cooked, and then it's time to eat. I'm not completely sure how long I need to simmer this fish for, but it's been, it's been about 10 minutes and it looks like the fish is almost done cooked. There's a couple pieces I can tell are still a little raw in the center. So maybe another, another five minutes maybe. And the noodles to perfection. Now the key with the noodles, if you get your noodles done, and you put them inside your strainer. You don't want to just let them sit there. Once in a while, you want to give them up. Like, <laughs> you want to give them a flip once in a while so they don't get all mushy and soggy on the bottom. I already did like three flips. They were all perfect, but you know, when the camera's rolling, things don't really go to plan for me. Now I have noodles on the floor. Mm-hmm. It's done. And I just went into my garden and got some fresh basil. Ooh, wow. Yeah, now we're talking. And um, so the fish kind of broke apart. There's no more chunks. It's all uh, kind of flaked up in there, which I kind of like that, actually. I think this sauce, it smells so good, it's got that garlicky tomato basil fish to it. It's almost kind of crabby a little bit. I like, I like, I like. So let's make a plate. Step one is a healthy serving of noodles. Oh, those are hot. Wow. Oh! Step two will be a Delightful serving of mutton snapper tomato soup. <laughs> Not tomato soup, <laughs> tomato sauce with some big chunks of garlic in it. I'm a huge garlic fan. I'll eat like 10 of these big garlic chunks just right off the rip. All right, but wait, we're not done. Parmesan, a nice hefty, Chonkaroo of some Parmesan on there. And then of course, we will garnish with a couple of beautiful, ooh, oh, baby. There we go. That right there, mutton snapper spaghetti. Who would have thought? Ooh, I don't know if you guys already knew this, but I hit 200 pounds finally, and I'm on my way to 210. 
bowl test. This has got some bowl balls and a whole bunch of things to increase your energy, testosterone, muscle recovery, all that good stuff, mental clarity. How do you think I'm, I'm doing so well? Bull balls, lots of them. It's available on SouthFordEfficientChannel.com if you wanna go get yourself some. But uh, check this out. What do you guys think? Is it gonna taste good or am I gonna be like, meh? Am I gonna make it again? Only one way to find out. It looks hot, hot, hot. All right, I wanna get a nice fishy piece right there. Barely even any noodles in there. I just wanna try the fish. You know what that tastes like? That kind of tastes, like earlier I said it, it smelled a little crabby. It kind of tastes a little crabby. Like, and like if you've ever had like a blue claw based spaghetti sauce, like uh, what Dan has made many times, it is so good. This tastes very similar to that, even though it's fish, not crab. So good. It's got that like seafood punch to your face. It's just a very, um, very good flavor. Just, wow, that is, I'm playing with fire here. This is hot, hot. Mmm. That is so much better than just normal spaghetti sauce. It's got thickness to it. You can taste that protein in it. You can taste all that fish goodness in there. And mutton snapper is not a very fishy fish, but it it's like a, a good fish flavor. It's like seafood. It's that aroma of seafood in there. Highly recommended. I would cook this for anyone any day of the week. Oh, you know what I just realized? I suck. I got garlic bread. I was gonna make the garlic bread with the noodles, but uh, I gotta preheat the oven and all. Ah, you know what, no garlic bread today. Damn, that means, hmm, that just means I have to eat extra noodles to get that, get them extra carbs in there, but. Hey, delicious recipe. What do you guys think? Patch refishing with Dan? You know, finally, the one, one of our most requested videos, and of course, my I didn't bring my batteries, so I tried my best with what I had on the boat. There's probably like 20 fish we caught that weren't even caught on video. A lot of grunts, a lot of smaller snapper, a lot of yellowtail, but it's okay. We're getting back in the game. Thanks for watching this video all the way to the end, and I'll see you guys on the next fishing episode. Cheers. Cheers.